Hey guys, welcome back. It's Tinker Taylor here, and today I'm doing a build for a story that I was actually writing. Uh, it, that story is on hold because I am mm, a in the middle of the uni, uh, but also because I'm in the middle of so many other stories. I have a really bad habit of starting them and then not completing them. So I have some. Extremely, extremely good. Uh, in my opinion, extremely good stories to write. But I do not have the story written. I have the plot all written out and I've done research for a lot of these stories and whatnot. And I expect to not. Uh, oh, I, I always assume that I'm never going to get the work done. But I thought a little while ago to build a house for one of the characters in one of my stories who lives in a shotgun styled house. It's a very, I, I would say unpleasant house, although it could be a very pleasant house if Some care was given to this house. Um, the there are three people who live in this house. Very complicated story, as they always tend to be when I'm writing, uh, and they never need to be, but they are. Sometimes I do need to dial it back. But the family who lives here, um, is. He's not even the main character, but he is a an important side character who lives with his stepdad and his half sister. Uh, his mum did pass away, so his stepdad has to look after him now because his dad, who knows where he is. Um, but it's a two bedroom abode and of course without a doubt the guy lets his little sister like not that he had a choice but if he did he would still have it the way it is now with his little sister having a room to herself um the stepdad also gets his own room but it's so bare like the rest of the house like all of the effort goes into this little girl who they just want to have a fantastic life with. Um, and the, the guy actually sleeps on a on the couch. Um, which isn't the best someone's back or whatever but he does every so often go and sleep over at his friend's house so he gets like a proper bed for a night and um you know his own space and whatnot i really haven't touched on that story for a while now but i quite enjoy the idea of that story I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say the plot because I haven't fully fleshed it out and it's also I don't know just yeah and I did this build a little while ago for that story I was gonna do another build for that story because there are other characters and they live in other houses and I like to visualise these things quite a bit. Helps me to write what I want to say if I can actually see what I'm trying to write, if that makes sense. Um, rather than trying to make this place up in my head and see if it makes sense at all. Uh, I might next week do another build for another story that I'm writing 
but it won't be this tiny. Um, and I think what I'm going to do in that story, that house gets renovated. So I might have to do what the house looks like at the beginning and then what the house looks like at the end because it's relevant uh, to... I guess you'd say it's relevant to the story. Um, that painting that I just put up is a painting of the guy, like the, the stepdad's wife who passed away, or the, the main character, dude, or he's not even the main character, the, the guy who's in the story, his mum, and the mum of this little girl. Um, but as you can see, like, she gets a lot of things compared to what are in the other rooms. You know, she's got a school bag, she's got teddies, she got bookshelves, toys. I'm pretending that there are, uh, what do you call them, like, storage containers under the bed and that's where she keeps her clothes. Uh, but you can't exactly do that in The Sims. Um, that storage rack there for the side for the kid who sleeps on the couch. Uh, and it's, it's, it's such a cramped little space and, you know, this, this is reality for some people. They, they, I don't have a big enough house for what they need. And I wanted to try and show that, you know, these, these people, I don't even think I let, I made them have a dining table because they just don't have the space for it. You know, they they really wanted to... I don't even know how you would try and do this. Like, you could try and do a bunk bed in the girls' room, but, you know, you see, I tried to do a bed out there, but then I thought, there's, not, there's just not enough space. You know, the... the... And he's... The kid who sleeps on the couch, he's about 16 to 18, so he's getting ready to leave school. And I don't know if I've done it yet, but I put these little mannequins in the corner because he is uh, an aspiring fashion designer for... He, he wants to do, like, children's a children's clothing fashion line, and he uses his sister as inspiration, and he built a lot of... Oh, um, creates a lot of things for her, and now most people would be like, hey, how could a person who lives, like, like, you know, clearly not well off and struggling with life and money and whatnot, how could they afford to design clothes, you know, that, that costs money, and correct, it does, but his best friend... Her, 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 his best friend's mum is also a fashion designer and a well-known one for that and she sees a lot of potential in him and she says look if you design these clothes I will fund them from these ideas but you have to prove to me that these like are worthwhile ideas that people will actually buy so he funds his uh, yeah, she funds his clothing line. Well, it's not a clothing line, but his ideas. And she sells uh, part of them. I, I don't know. I haven't really worked that bit out. But all I know is that he doesn't pay for it himself she does but he has to like prove to her that he can do it he has to give her good ideas and whatnot and she pays him for it and she pays him a salary that is normal for a part-time designer I, which i'm gonna have to research and find out what that is but 
like I said, a lot of that money goes towards that little girl so she can have a good life. And... Um... Yeah, it's... I don't know, it's, it's a really touching moment, I think, because sometimes people take advantage of the fact that they have this, like, better than normal life, and it's not the same for everyone. You know, some people do live in this situation, and it is hard, and they do whatever they can do to try and get things to, to work and make life easier and whatnot, but it, it, sometimes life is just that way. So I thought it was kind of important to have a character in that story who represented you know, the poorer side of, of the community, you know, that they're real, they're, they exist, and, yeah, um, and it, it's supposed to make the other characters who are better off realise, look, we're really lucky to be in the position we are in, and we can't take advantage of it, because you never know what's going to happen, and one day it all could, it all could be gone, so... He's a very important character because he works so hard. You know, the rest of them work hard too. And at uh, you know, he's at school, and they all work hard as well. But they don't really have to rely on. You know, if I don't get paid this week, I'm not. I might not be able to eat this week. Like they don't have to worry about that. So. I, yeah, I just thought it'd be a good idea to try and keep that message in the story and, and keep things realistic. But anyway, this is the build. Um, put a lot of cracks around. I don't know if you guys saw, but I put a crack underneath one of the posters in this room here, underneath the the singing one. I don't I don't know what it's called, but... Yeah, I just thought it'd be nice to share a build that, yeah, you guys might not necessarily play in it. I mean, you might. You could do a Rags to Riches series in this house, but it's, yeah, it's realistic and I liked it. But if you liked it, let me know down below and I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys.